Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video a demo loader is coming. I don't know where to call it, loading shovel or teleporter because it's a bit of both but not really either. So I'll give the teleporter a 520-50, a well needed respite for some of the winter till we get a bit of work done with it. And yeah, it hasn't come just yet but I said I'd start the video just before it comes but really excited to see it and get using it. But anyway, I gotta keep feeding cattle. And we'll keep an eye out for this machine coming. Just, I can't wait. Really, I'm excited to see that. Nothing's better than getting a yoke on demo. New machines, shiny metal disease. That's all it is. I have a bad case of shiny metal disease. So the demo machine has arrived. I don't know, can I say the name? Paus, Paus. A German built machine. And it is some, some looking job now. Come with a lock of implements as well. So there's a tying grab, a bucket and a forks and a hedge cutter on the forks or a flail of some description and you may be wondering well how are you supposed to do anything with that well the loader swivels which is um interesting very interesting when the, the, i got a look at it on another youtube video how it works the, the whole front turns full 180 degrees so it is quite unusual that way but um, yeah so we're going to have this for a while now, it's a nice looking machine. A nice bit bigger than the teleporter, so it is, than the JCB. Just after getting some new tyres put on it there. But um, yeah, it's going to be interesting now. It'll be very interesting seeing how it works. And, and also, we have to, because the loader bracket is different, or the headstock is different on that, we have to change our headstock on the, on the Prodig. So the Prodig shear grab is held on with U-bolt holes on the the plates so there's a set of plates that we can just bolt it onto that so we can put shear grab or shear bucket onto this machine so we can do the feeding with it So we're here now with Liam from LB Gremo Limited and he's after dropping up the POWS TSL Telescopic Swing Loader. 9088. 9088. It's the model, 7.5 ton weight. And what we have here with this loader is the most versatile loader you can find on any farm or agriculture site in Ireland or the UK or anywhere in Europe because it's a swing loader. There's only two swing loaders being manufactured in Europe and this is one of them. It will save you money in the long run. It will also save you time, which is a big thing nowadays in a farming industry. Basically, to take you through the loader, the swing. The swing, I suppose, is the big thing with this loader. It's a, it's a very unusual. I, I, I've never seen a swing loader till you message me about it. I've never seen one. Mm. And it, it is, I suppose, it's comical looking to start off. I suppose when you uh, get into it. Unusual being yeah. different. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause I suppose no one really has seen it this side of the aisle before. But what we have here with this is two simple hydraulic cylinders, push and pull underneath, and that gives you your swing. I suppose a lot of people will ask, uh, is there a lot going on? Yeah, no. You have the swing, but the simplicity of two rams, push and pull, and two big pins underneath the king post, you have a swing bear in here, which is equivalent to what you see on a 10 ton excavator. So she's built very well. Um, probably people don't know, it's a German manufactured machine, which is the key to the loader as well. Yeah. So structurally built extremely well. And the Ger Germans always make good stuff. Well, so they do. you have your Deitz engine, your Danfoss hydraulics, and your Dana driveline. So yeah. you, won't, you won't beat that. You can put attachments on it, flail heads, saw heads, you're never caught or snookered in a tight yard with this loader. So all in all, time and money is what you're saving with this unit. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, you need to use it to see it, to recognize where you're getting. Yeah. Um, in relation to using the loader, massive visibility all around. It's low, so when you look over your shoulder, you have good visibility over your, your, your left and right shoulder. Yeah. Everything is done through the joystick. So you're not going for different functions of buttons. You never take your right hand off the joystick. All your controls, swing, 
you twist left and right. Oh, so the swing is on a on like you twist it like all oh, right. It's rotation. All oh, right. So you want to you want to swing to the right, you twist to the right. Yeah. And this is proportional, so you can gradually rotate to the right yeah. or the left with the slightest twist. So you never take your hand off this while in motion. You can be on the move and operate your boom at the same time. Yeah. The key to to operating fast and swiftly is the fact that everything is true to joystick. And you have two separate pumps as in a transmission pump and a hydraulic pump. So you're not killing the engine or you're not killing the hydraulics while you're moving. Yeah. So when you're operating the flail and you're moving, it does it, it doesn't it doesn't die out because you have a separate hydraulic system. Yeah. You can set your revs to 1800 rpm and you can set your flow of oil through here there's 140 liters a minute available from the pump and um, it's mechanically turned down on the valve chest to 85 for the flail but if you wanted to increase it for other attachments there's 140 liters available it's a dites four cylinder engine it's, it's a dites four cylinder 115 horse engine yeah um, add blue add blue on this model there is a 75 horse available this is the the high spec loader we're talking about yeah the, the king the king of them if you like That's with the 115 horse and the 140 liters available on the hydraulics the lifting capacity and the, the boom reach lifting capacity 2.5 yeah 2500 kg um fully in and 1.7 fully out or yeah. 1700 kg fully out when you extend to the left or the right fully and let the extension out fully. Yeah. You're reaching out to 3.2 from the edge of the wheel, left yeah. to right. She will lift 800 kgs yeah. at that point. Stability probably will be a question mark. Um, the rear axle has two hydraulic cylinders on either side. So the rear, the rear axle pivots. Yeah. So when you reach out to the left or the right, what happens is the rear axle locks. Right. So that's what gives you your, oh, so your it, it, stability. So when you when you're when you're driving yeah. in rough terrain, this axle will move up and down to give yeah. you comfort inside. But when you bring the boom around a certain point, this sensor will detect it. Yeah. And this axle will lock. So that'll make her the whole machine rigid. Yes, it won't, it won't let it, the machine exactly. move and the, oh, I get to, you. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah. To, to give you the stability that you're required. Yeah. Tight yards, awkward situations, that's where this loader comes into its its element if you like yeah tire options um in this case here we went for the the bit of michelin it gives us an all-round sort of a tire with concrete and off off field um the other thing that's uh, available is the diff lock also on the right hand joystick yeah if you're if you're out on grass press a button and brings into diff locks yeah full set of work lights you have uh, the vi um, extra visible Bit in the cab yeah, taken out. The, 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 the glass goes right up onto the top of the roof. Which yeah. If you're loading high, you, you can see up. If, if you're if you're loading, say five bales high, five round bales, it will go to comfortably. Yeah. So you're you're almost five meters. Yeah. Of of reach in height. So I know it's it's. I know I have a good idea of how it works. The the gears on that. That's. Uh, Pause it. The, the, like the gear. Well, it's not a gearbox. A hydrostatic, no, is it? She's a hydrostatic system. Yeah. So you. So it's one, two, three, four. Is it? It's uh, it's two. It's two buttons to go from low to high. Right. But, but can be done on the move. Oh, so it's high. It's low and high. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then uh, you drop down a bucket, a tine grab. A couple of attachments. A bucket, a tine grab. Pallet forks and this this flail head. Manufactured by Slane Track. Um, they do saws, they do finger bars and the flail as you can see. Yeah. The reason we went for the flail option is it works really well under fences and behind fences. Yeah. But this as you can see is quick attach through here. As you can see this is a star makeup and you can alter the position by loosening the bolt, slide it back. Uh, oh, I get you. Yeah. The, the idea is that you can work in different positions, or yeah. you can go back and you can buy the saw off lane track or the finger bar and it'll slot straight onto this. Yeah. So uh, it's giving you, it's giving you options with the lane track setup. Yeah. And it comfortably works the flail, 
uh, at full reach, extended, left or right. Definitely, I'm looking forward to use, using that now, so I am. Definitely, there's a lot of little handy hedges around the house has to be trimmed back, and it will definitely do that. For the next while, we're going to have this machine on demo in the yard. We're going to be using it for feeding. We've bales to load, we've sheds to clean out, we have grain to be rolled, we've, we've an awful lot of things to do. We're really and truly, this is going to replace the teleporter for the next while and we'll, we'll go, we're going to be giving it a good run through everything it can do. And I'm excited to get used and see what it's like and I can see the advantage in the swing loader. Especially in a certain jobs like loading the grain now is one job I'm really looking forward to do because always when you're rolling in a shed it's always very tight manoeuvring and, and that, that could save a lot of time so uh, very interesting getting used but anyways big thanks to Liam for dropping it down to us and letting us have a go at it and yeah you're going to see more of this in the next couple of videos and that and there may be a bit of this working at the end of this one um, we'll, we'll see how we get on there's still a bit of diet feeding to be done so I'll go into plan we'll, we'll do a bit of it. different now than what I'm used to but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it and then twist it and it comes back around and go for another round so yeah it's um it's interesting it's a, bit, a bit more getting used to now I am starting to get used to it but what are the couple of things that I have noticed I know it's in comparison to the teleporter, so it's not in the same league. But however, there's a woeful amount of power, and getting way bigger grabs with way less effort than what I normally have to do. And I'm also, um, the hydraulics are faster, closing the bucket, closing the bucket a lot faster. Um, yeah, it's just a lot more power in it. I have to get used to working all, I'm so used to using all the different joysticks, I have to get used to using one joystick. That's that diet feeder full. Yeah, it's like that, two grabs and I have the diet feeder full, whereas normally I'd be putting in four grabs with the other one. And it doesn't take half the amount of effort. And there's a good view from it, you know, it's, 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 it's good now. Oh. Anyways, look at, I'm going to park this and get this diet feeder emptied out. But um, yeah, so this is this machine. We're going to have it for a while now and we're going to test it out. We're going to put through its paces on a couple of different jobs. Shear grab his, it take a much bigger shear from how I have on it, but how and ever. But anyways, I'm going to go feed these cattle. We're going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed getting a look at this machine. And yeah, you look forward to seeing more of it and what it can do. And we're going to give it a good run through its pace to see what it's made of. And, so far, so good, just, just a good bit of getting used to and feeling my way into, especially with the swing, feeling how much weight I can swing around. 
because that is one of the things while it has the rams and it has the stability it's just to be confident in how much it can swing around is why I need to get used to it but anyways we're going to leave it at for today's video as always hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday that is it for me good luck